Good morning, my sister and brother, Berta Warrior, trusting that you are doing well. So happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. How are you today? So let us go into my sister and brother. Let us go into my devotion, E Shall Receive Power by Ellen G. White. My camera is a little bit dark, but I'm trying to remove the glare. Hold on. But it's not working that well. Well, nevertheless, let us get started. So we are in E Shall Receive Power by Ellen G. White, and we are in more preaching, more preaching. Okay, let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, thank you, Father God, for waking me up, clothing me in my right mind. Father God, I thank you for my sister, my brother that stopped by here today. Father God, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. Right now, Father God, I ask you that you would decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you for, for hearing, Father God, through the Holy Spirit, Father God, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, more preaching. And it stayed here. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing scripture, scriptural things with scriptural. And this is coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 12. 1 Corinthians 2, verses 12. And it stayed here. Let me bow it pray again. Father God, open our hearts and our mind to receive this message, this lesson for God, uh, this lesson, Father God, in more about preaching. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And it's stayed here. Just prior to his leaving the disciples for the heavenly court, Jesus encouraged them with the promise of the Holy Spirit. The promise belonged as much to us as it did to them. And yet, how rarely is it presented before the people and its reception spoken of in the church? In consequence of this silence upon this most important theme, what promise do we know less about by its practical fulfillment than the rich promise of the gift of the Holy Spirit, whereby efficiency is to be given to all our spiritual labor. The promise of the Holy Spirit is casually brought into our discourse, is incidentally touched upon, and that is all. Prophecies have been dwelled upon, doctrines has been expounded, but that which is essential to the church in order that they may grow in spiritual strength and efficiency in order that the preaching may carry conviction with it and souls be converted to God has been largely left out of ministerial effort. Mm. This subject has been set aside as if some time in the future would be given to its consideration. Let me repeat this. This subject has been set aside as if some time in the future would be given to its consideration. Other blessings and privileges has been presented before the people until a desire has been awakened in the church for the attainment of this blessing promised of God. But the impressions concerning the Holy Spirit has been that this gift is not for the church now but that at some times in the future, it would be necessary for the church to receive it. Mm. This promised blessing, if claimed by faith, would bring all other blessing in its train, and it is to be given liberally to the people of God. Through the cutting devices of the enemy, the mind of God's people seems to be incapable of comprehending and, and appropriating the promises of God. A harvest of joy will be ripened by those who sown the holy seeds of truth. He that goeth forth with weeping, bearing precious seeds, shall doubly Come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. 
So that concludes my devotion, my sister and brother, more preaching. So you see, you see that we need to be uh, talking more about the power of the Holy Spirit, because unless we have the power of the Holy Spirit, and it's stayed here, the Holy Spirit is the breath of spiritual life in the soul. If we do not have the Holy Spirit, how can we get the power to do what God has asked us to do? Because so in the days in the early reign, in the on day of Pentecost, in, a, in A.D. 31, what happened that then supposed to be, we're supposed to exceed that time, right? So the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and people were blessed. There was multitude, thousands and thousands of people blessed in one day. I mean, came and decided to accept Jesus in one day. So it's supposed to be more abundant in these days than it was in, in, um, in the early reign, because we are going, we are at the close of earth history and we are we're praying for the latter rain experience and we you could go back to my topics that i covered on monday and tuesday talk about the latter rain we need the outpouring of the holy spirit to take full control but if we as individuals are still holding on to sin my sister and brother there's no way that we'll be able to get the power of the Holy Spirit because we has to, it has to be a clean vessel that the Holy Spirit uh, take full control. And remember, like I state, the Holy Spirit, we do not use the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit uses us, okay? So make sure, my sister and brother, that we are studying. We have to study, study, study. And sound the trumpet, sound the trumpet. There are souls that's dying, and they don't know about Jesus. And we are, he had called us because we state we are Christian, right? So that's a stamp, Christian. So we have to be an example of what Jesus wants us to be. We have to have the character of Christ. I don't know what's going on with my video. This is really strange, guys. So I'm not sure what's going on here. But nevertheless, let me go ahead and pray. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this message. I thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. We ask you, Father God, to be with each one of us, Father God. Give us a blessing from on high today, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for hearing. We thank you for answering. In Jesus' name, I have prayed through the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. I'm not sure what's going on with my video today, my sister and brother, but nevertheless, we're going to give praise and honor and glory to God. With that, my sister and brother, I love you. I appreciate you. So this is Birdia Warrior. You can follow me over Birdia. You can follow me, or I should say, you can go to my website, birdiawarrior.com. Follow me over YouTube and under Birdia Warrior. There's a wealth of information. But before you go, let us do the four hugs for survival. I have no idea what's going on with my video. No idea. But let us do the four hugs for survival. So here we go. One, two, three, four. I love you, my sister and brother. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care.